after his successful occupation of the Rhineland. With no opposition from the Allies, Hitler plans to continue reclaiming territory he believes was unjustly taken from Germany when the Allies carved up Europe. In the spring of 1938, Hitler annexes his home country of Austria before turning his attention to a region of Czechoslovakia, home to more than three million Germans, and a rich supply of coal, iron, and power plants. The Sudetenland. Hitler said, give us the land where Germans live in Czechoslovakia. That's all we want. We want our, our German folk in the Reich. Hitler was taking these steps, these military steps and threats and bluster, and building up his forces in violation of every agreement. You know, he was testing the Western powers. Hitler secretly orchestrates violent incidents in Sudetenland as an excuse to take over and moves his troops into position. For the first time in 20 years, the threat of a major conflict in Europe is real. As the European leaders begin to take notice of Hitler's bold actions, British Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain has to make sure England doesn't get involved in another war. Britain was tired of war after the First World War, and there was a very strong feeling that never again could Europe uh, find itself in the pit of disaster after losing millions of people in the First World War. Chamberlain believes that to stop Hitler in his tracks and save Europe from another war, he'll be able to exercise diplomacy. As the world watches, Chamberlain travels to Germany to broker the peace. This is the first time Hitler grants a meeting with an allied leader to discuss the crisis. Did you fight in the Great War? Mr. Prime Minister? I did not. I was in government. It was an honor to fight for my country. It was an honor to serve mine. I doubt either of us want such honors for our countries again. Of the many wrongs of that war, this one, we can write. Let us have the territory back. I can only agree to the areas that are more than 50% German. Nothing more. Desperate to avoid war at all costs, Chamberlain agrees to bring Hitler's terms to the French. With troops mobilizing and Europe again on the brink of war, the leaders of France, Britain, Italy and Germany meet in Munich to negotiate the Sudetenland crisis. Czechoslovakia is not invited. Germany is given the Sudetenland in exchange for Hitler's word that he'll go no further. We were on the brink of war and taking steps to mobilize in 1938. But then Chamberlain, the British Prime Minister, convinced the French Prime Minister that Hitler's demands were legitimate. He believed Hitler's lie when he said, I just want the Sudetenland and then there will be peace. I don't want anything else. Chamberlain returns to London a hero, promising peace for our time. The idea of appeasement, somebody has an appetite 
and you appease that person's hunger, and they're somehow satisfied. The problem with the appeasement policy is that Hitler could not be appeased because he wanted world domination. And so by definition, you couldn't give him everything he wanted. Because the more you gave him, the more he would want. The world breathes a sigh of relief, believing war with Hitler has been avoided. But not everyone is convinced. Bloody hell.